hey 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 welcome to the channel today as the title states we're going to be playing a game called death stranding now i know this has been out for quite a while and i've been dying to play it but i finally got a pc and i'm able to play it so i'm really really excited now i've not looked much into the game because i don't want to have anything spoiled i do know a few basics obviously because i've wanted to play it but i do know that the game follows an event which caused destructive creatures to start roaming earth and our main protagonist and who we play as his name is a guy called sam porter bridges if i'm not mistaken he's played by the incredibly talented norman Reedus. Sam is a courier, I believe, and his job is to deliver supplies to small types of colonies who have been isolated. As of right now, that's all I know about this game. I'm really, really excited to get into it, so stick around for the journey and we can walk it together. Okay. I've just put my birthday in, which I thought was actually kind of odd. And this lovely little message has just come up. Luckily, I'm 99% sure I'm not born under these constellations. I'm a Capricorn. I'm not an astrology person, so I might be. But we're just going to hope I'm not, because whatever dooms are, they don't sound very wanted. so far just the look of it is I'm loving it <gasps> I don't think that was even the game I love that <laughs> I was like I love this the rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to keep the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends of our own invention. Wherever they were people, there were... <gasps> Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Mm -hmm. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm watching a movie. <gasps> I hope this music isn't copyrighted because I don't want to get <laughs> copyrighted on my first YouTube video. Uh, honestly look at that that is absolutely st i feel like i'm literally in the wilderness and i'm looking at that right now is that an upside down rainbow honestly look it looks like someone's got a really high definition camera oh wow this is absolutely stunning is this in the game? Like, is this the actual the scenes? Because honestly, something else. What is that in the background? Wow, I'm honestly blown away so far. First impressions about what? Not even five minutes in, and. I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. So I'm guessing this is our guy. This is good old Norman Reedus. Or Sam, as he's known in this... In this game. I love who he has his motorbike, you know? <laughs> like, he's always got his motorbike. I feel like it's his, it's his arm, you know? Like it's a part of him. Look at the detail, honestly. It's insane. Oh. 
that acid rain? I'm going to assume that's acid rain. One thing I know about games, invisible creatures is never a good thing. Oh, good heavens. Um, that was like the best jump I've ever seen. Not for the second one, though. No. girl really said you're over the speed limit don't do it Sam no, 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 no. his arm oh, is missing great. now that was his basically a second limb oh, are we playing? Okay, so it's the same old to move. Grab with left hand. Oh. E transfer the card from hand to back. Okay. Oh. Actually, look how insanely beautiful this game is. Cargo scanner, the Odorak. Is that how you say that? Odorak can scan for cargo tags. Every piece of cargo has a tag attached. What was it to scan again? Thank you. Okay. Oh, I guess we're not going where the X's are. We're going this way. Okay. If you don't know where you're heading, press. We're holding down G in order to find your way. Ah, we're going here. Destination cave. Place a marker. Okay, we can't go there. And then T to zoom out. Okay, we're still learning the keys. Okay, so we have to go this way. Do you we have to go up? I think we have to go up, okay. here so we have to go around if there's a way around I'm guessing this is the way around okay. oh climb okay we can climb oh. and we can jump it's always a good thing when you can jump Oh, you have to hold space to climb continuously. Good way out the rain over there. Okay, that was. I mean, I think I, as a person, made that harder than it needed to be. 
But you know, I'm still new to keyboard. <gasps> Sam Norman Reedus. <gasps> A deer. A sir. Put them clothes back. Why are these? What is that? Handprints on his skin. Why is there handprints? Oh. Not his tattoos in real life being in the game. That's actually iconic. Why is it literally handprints? Like massive handprints. I only just noticed that. Was it like that last time? <sighs> Isn't that the woman who he um ran into? Handprints for me. Them being invisible makes them like 50,000 times more <laughs> scarier. Which I'm gonna assume they come into play in the game. I'm not entirely loving. How big are these creatures? Because while they sound massive, at the same time, they seem to be near him, and if they are invisible, Unless they're like ghost like so you can pass through them. They seem to be quite close to them, so surely they would have felt them by now. Well, <laughs> we survived our encounter with two of those creatures. Are they the dooms? Okay. She's very tearful. I don't blame her because I would have literally cried my eyes out if that was me in real life. Oh my god. I'm sorry. What is that? tells me we're gonna find out a lot about this game. Prologue. Porter. Why are they tearful? I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. Oh, it's an so allergy. You have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? Doom. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. 
I thought too then. So Dooms isn't the creature. Here? Dooms Trying to is stay dry. a Same disease. Thing. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah. Oh I've dear, heard of I you. just got some <laughs> that right. Sam Porter Bridges. Fragile. The man who delivers. I'm very curious about the handprints on his skin. And also she looks really cool. Minus whatever that is going on. Please don't do what I think you're gonna do. Oh, pretty sure she did what I thought she was going to do. Oh no, she didn't. She still has it. A crypto buy of the day keeps the time fall away. Oh, I take it back again. <laughs> She did do, and it's even got the crunching noises, and she looks like she's absolutely enjoying that. Wanna come work for me? It must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traders. So Not much left she works now. for Fragile Safe Express, for nice folks. and her name is Fragile. And is it that, bold of me to assume she owns the Express? Not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receivers standing by for drop. Sam Porter Bridges. So his name is Sam Porter and he works for Bridges. That's what I'm gonna assume because I swear that just said Bridges coming in or something. Headed into town. I need that umbrella in my life. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. I almost forgot about the photo. I know it was a picture of him. I don't know who the girl is, and I don't know who the other the woman is. The time fast forwards, whatever it touches. Obviously, I know it's a picture of him. I can literally see him right there. The Jesus. Won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. She is amazing. <laughs> I love her. I think it's our turn again to ruin his life. Deliver one or more consignments of smart drugs. So we're going over here, I'm guessing. <gasps> oh my god. Absolutely insane. I'm literally loving this. The blood and stamina gorges. The red bar is the blood gorge. When it reaches zero, Sam will die. The blue bar is the stamina gorge. As this gorge depletes, Sam moves more slowly and maintaining his balance is harder. Okay then. Is there a way to- Ah, we can run. We can eat whatever that is. Okay, I don't think we can go this way, so... We have to find another way. So I'm pretty sure it's this G. So we can't go that way because it's clearly a bit red. Can I move forward a bit just to have a look over? Okay. So we have to find another way. One that doesn't involve us jumping off the cliff. Don't be so scared. Don't be so scared. Ah, what's this? Oh. Love that. Don't be so we don't have any of two. What's four? 
An old favourite of Sam, sunglasses designed with Homo Ludens in mind. Their form encourages the wearer never to forget their playful side. Their colour scheme can be customised in your private room. Should we wear them? Let's wear them. Do we have them on? Oh, I love them. I love them. Should we just do what that says? Why not? One, right? Great. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, we need to figure out how to actually get over here. So, let's go back. And see. Where are we going? this way? Oh. Sir, he just almost went flying on. Okay, I really hope that this music isn't copyrighted because let me tell you. Okay, we're gonna go back this way to where this takes us. Because I feel like this is the way we have to go, kind of thing. Because down there I can see a big path to walk through, so... Oh! And how do you go on your back again? E! Okay. So... Let's go this way. I know we're going further away, but I feel like this is the way we need to go, even though I'm probably definitely going the wrong way. Um, okay, let's... What is this? A canteen. Oh, we have to drink and eat, I'm guessing? Because down here, if you look, there is a path. Like, down the actual bottom so let's go down this way okay see what I mean the path there but I don't know if there's a way to actually get down there safely unless these cliffs connect and we go across like a walkway so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and have a look at that give it a little run but we need to space the flight and I keep forgetting okay um spoiler they do not connect also he doesn't really stop when I like tell him to stop oh wait this is where we came from right on the motorbike I'm pretty sure so I'm I think we have to go back this way and uh, we have to wing it because let me tell you this is not easy okay so over there is where it's have i just gone the whole wrong way for no reason Oh, I just died because he fell off the cliff. Okay. At least I died for the first time. He really did just slide off that cliff. Or was I meant to slide off the cliff? Because what is this? Oh. Sam is a rip meaning that he can return to life from the place known as the scene when killed and the scene follow the strand to guide some soul to his body to bring him back oh. 
Um. Excuse me. What in Jesus' name was that? Well, on the bright side, we figured out that we come back to life. Okay, I hear some noise. Oh, I'm guessing that's my motorbike. Very disappointing. So over here, there's a blue thing we're trying to go to without falling off the cliff. Sam, please. I see that as an absolute win, though, because we now know that we do not die. Okay, maybe I have to go up there and go around. I mean, we die, but we don't... We can come back, you know? Which is, like, obviously, like, most games, but that's quite an interesting way to come back. Minus the whole baby thing. Why is there a, like, big-ass baby? Okay, maybe I have to climb up here. Okay, I am not... I'm not winning any points here, am I? Okay, let's go back. A bit of run. Let's not run so fast though, Sam, because you're gonna fall again. Oh. Am I... dumb? Yeah, the answer to that is yeah. Ah, you can stop with the mouse. Okay, okay, okay. That makes things much easier. Oh, so I just had to go all the way around this way, not waste my time running all the way back. I thought too hard into it. I was like, there's gotta be a way. Spoiler, this is the way. It says to go down. But how do I go down if I don't have anything to go down with? Like, what moment to do with this? Don't look down. Like, what was that meant to do for me? How would you go down here? Do I fall down? back on top I'm back on top so how do you get over there because I like this is this is very baffling so I obviously can't go that way I have to go that way why is there a big line here Am I just, like, being odd? Wait, maybe if I scan... When in Compass Moon G, the distance between yourself and whatever the rectal is centered on will be displayed when using this feature to check how far you might have to that glitch you didn't give me any time so what does this mean in just you yourself and me jump to marker So something tells me we have to go down here because that just scanned. So let's go round again. 
We came out of that cave. Why do I feel like I've just actually been insanely useless and I've ran 500 miles basically. I've gone the wrong way twice. I've died twice and all I had to do was come down here the whole time. Honestly, it can only happen to me. It can only happen to me. Honestly, I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. Let's do another little scan just in case. Let's just pretend that that whole beginning bit never happened because that was not cute on my part. So we're coming up to a town type thing, I guess. Movement and camera controls. Use to move the camera to look in the direction you want to move. I find it hard to move using. Oh, I was walking straight ahead while I was reading that. It's best to walk on flat, even surfaces when possible. You're telling me. Um, should we get this key? I probably shouldn't have gone through here, but. You picked up head of distribution of Central Knot City's dropped cargo. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go up here because this seems like the right way. Ah, you can grip for balance. And then I guess we're going this way. I've got to say, despite everything that's so far gone wrong, I'm not even mad because this game is just beautiful. What on earth was that? <laughs> like, just looking at the scenery while I'm walking around is just insane. Why does it keep trying to make me urinate? Does that make it better for me to, like, move? Oh well. So there's still buildings in this like post apocalyptic world. Let me go back this way because this way seems a bit safer. But I could just go straight across here. When you center your balance while in a river, you'll be able to resist the flow of the water. If you center your balance with both hands, you'll be able to hold for longer. Okay. We're learning new things today. We're going to try and stay on <laughs> flat land. Because that's what it told us to do. Oh, is this like a dam? Whoa. I love how it's all grassy and then you look over here and I'm pretty sure those are like desert type cliffs, like mountains. Yeah. Oh, he's really hard to like. I suppose I'll get used to it, but he is really hard to. Caution. So we can't go that way. Do we have to go through the water? Because I'm not loving it if we do, but I'm not going to complain either. I think we have to go over that way because there's stairs on the other side. I don't understand why sometimes he walks and sometimes he like jogs, but. Alright, let's go up here a bit where it's a bit more shallow. And then we want to. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Ah, okay. So we grip both of those for balance. Or push the buttons in, I should say. And if I let go, I build up my stamina again, which is a good thing. Because those games where your stamina only goes back up once you're out of said water, that would be very difficult in this type of game. Ooh, look, some more smart drugs. Central North City. I'm guessing where we're going is Central North City, but I could not be sure. Cargo for the smart drug delivery order acquired. Total now, four out of four. Oh, I needed four? So going back was actually a good thing because I forgot that other one. I see that as an absolute win because I needed that other one. Shift to run, stop to run. Yeah, I already knew that. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Do I go that way or do I go that way? Wait, maybe if I... Oh no, wait, which one was it? To like... Oh no, I forgot which one it was to uh... Ah, uh, G. Okay. Oh! Please don't say I've gone the wrong way again. Or have I? No, I don't think I have. I think I just need to go this way, not that way. Ah, Central Not City. Beginning scan. Cargo verified. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay then. I'm going to assume this is where I'm dropping my cargo off. Do I go around that way or do I go through? I'll just go through. Access permit required. Okay. Activate terminal. I would please like to activate the terminal. Make a delivery, delivery requested cargo and cargo dropped by others. Deliver cargo specifically requested by this client. Okay, partial delivery, complete order, return. Okay, we're just gonna confirm the cargo. I'm assuming that's what I had to do. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so... Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Okay, then. Girl, I almost got eaten by, like, invisible monsters with human hands for feet. Why unless they walk on their hands? Who am I to judge? Travel distance. Oh. I probably have more than anyone because I went back and forth about 70 times. Oh my god, I got an awesome rating! <laughs> This is the prologue, and I got an awesome. It's only gonna go down here from here, I've gotta say. Oh my god, I earned four likes. I don't know how, but I did. Cargo damage? I damaged some of the cargo. I didn't mean to. Earned likes for completing the order. Porter grade. Love that.
I feel like I did a good job, okay? I don't care if it was the prologue. Just me making it to the end was a miracle because I went the wrong way about 17 times. Oh. What's SND? car is just absolutely stunning. How do you get out of that car? Oh. <laughs> it goes back down. I don't know what I was thinking. Hello, sir? Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Igor. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges' corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Oh. Come on. Disposal can... I'm guessing someone's been disposed? I think. Come and take a look. We're not gonna look at the dead body, are we? What is that? He's got a date with the incinerator. Oh. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're oh, just lucky dear. we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Necro? Uh, close to the incinerator. Is this like a disease type this thing. This room's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how oh, about it? Can we count on this you? This is getting quite interesting. Not that it wasn't the already. The bridge hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sense them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? A bridge baby? With its help and you, We'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Um. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. Uh. <laughs> Roll out. I don't know what to say about that. Although, I think they were talking about how, like, they feel bad and stuff because there's obviously a child in a glass. But that child didn't seem to mind being in that glass. He seemed, or she, or they, they seemed quite content with where they are, minus the head smack on the glass. different when I was a kid. You can look around. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well please. No need for the couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. So this is obviously Even set in America, which I assumed anyway. We just had confirmation. Hard to imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Or... I should say apocalyptic beyond all America. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. 
Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The world's the living the and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Incinerator. This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. So the rainbow is something to do with everything. Like at the beginning when there was an upside down rainbow. That is something to do with whatever's going on. Us right where they want us. Get us out of here. Sam, you see anything? So BTs are those creatures with the big hands, I'm gonna assume. No, nothing. <laughs> this BB must be busted or something. I was literally gonna say, despite the weather, he was not doing a very good job of driving that car. Oh my goodness, why is there so many crabs? Oh, is he the driver or is that us? Oh, that's us. Oh, we still have our glasses on, they survived. more like goggles than glasses. Maybe like a hybrid of them both. Okay, our body is still intact. I mean, it's got a bit of, bit of um, acidness. Our, is that our driver? Our driver is pinned underneath the car, which is not a good look for him. Aging, the guy on the floor. I literally just saw grey hair and some like wrinkles. I'm almost certain I did. So is this acid or is this like a rain that like makes you look older? Because I'm not sure if it burns when it touches, so does that make it not acid? Because surely if it was acid, unless you have special clothes on, it would just burn through the clothes as well, right?
Oh, the blood. Why is that blood like glitter? How do they not hear that little mechanical thing? Also, he definitely had brown hair when he started. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, this is a movie. So he is... So whatever it is that's happening, people would rather kill themselves than let it happen to them. That was something else. I honestly am lost for words. We're under an hour into the game and already I'm blown away. And now apparently we have a child. Mm. Oh. No, apparently we have no clothes. We've gained a baby and a pair of handcuffs and we've lost our clothes. <gasps> Where's our child? Oh, we have a we have a scar as well. Tell you what, we're learning a lot of things about our character here. So we had a child for twenty seconds, and we've already lost it. Oh my! Is that Wells? Why is there five people just... Oh my god. The beauty of this game is absolutely insane. Okay, we 
have a another woman. Well, I'm really confused how we got to the beach and uh, why there's a woman fully clothed going into the ocean. But I suppose that part is the least of our concerns, considering there is a beach full of deceased shark and well and crabs and there was some fish I'm pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> this is so intense. telling you whatever it is that is the the end result is gonna be out of this world I don't want to see the baby again oh we're going into the baby this time Great. Is that the baby in the in the glass? Baby. In the jar? Baby. Baby, can you hear me? Can you hear me? It's daddy. Baby? What? Who's baby? Baby? I'm so confused who Baby is. And that guy was apparently Baby's father. Um, we still have the child, I think. That must have been like a, a dream state. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Well, that's the end of part one, guys. I, I can't tell you how many parts there'll be, but... I'm for sure going to keep playing this game. So there's going to be at least more parts. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did playing. And thank you for choosing to spend just a little bit of your time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the content. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.